Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. I love a Monday, y'all. I feel like it's like a little mini reset button where we can like take a step back, reevaluate, get our goals back in check, and like come at the week new. And I also love the idea of Motivation Monday. So I bring y'all Motivation Monday help every Monday. So welcome to the Daily Drive. Can you guys believe that it is November already? I really can't believe that we're already into November and that Christmas is right around the corner, y'all. Christmas is right around the corner. I can't believe it. My husband and I are going down to Florida for Thanksgiving week and we'll be doing Christmas stuff during that week too. And so it's nuts to me that like is already here. But anyway, welcome to the Daily Drive. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to November. November 1st, y'all. I love it when new week, new month, when all of those things kind of line up together. It's a Monday, so it's a new week. It's the beginning of November. It's like a whole fresh, clean slate, and I love that. So, if you are new here, welcome to The Daily Drive. This is just a worksheet that I created. If you go back to my Friday, my Freedom Friday uh, Daily Drive, I kind of broke this down for you and told you how and why these things help. But this is just a worksheet that I created to help me stay in control of my mind all throughout the day and kind of like map out my day for me and let me be in control of that. I shared that with a few friends and went live a few times about my anxiety life and experiences and it turns out people enjoy listening to me for some reason. Um, and so here we are. I do this three times a week. I bring you mindset help because I was diagnosed with anxiety in 2010 officially and up until then there was a lot going on in my life that I had no idea was related to anxiety and even after that I had no idea how to be in control of my life and my anxiety uh, until really just a few years ago and so I went on a growth journey that opened my mind to a lot of things and I live with my anxiety every day and stay in control of my mind as best as I can and let y'all know how I do that. And so today is no different. It's a Monday. Like I was saying, I love it when Monday is the beginning of the week, the beginning of the month. Like it's it's the trifecta when it's like the beginning of the, the new year, right? Like January 1st is on a Monday and it's like all of the new beginnings. But anyway, I love a Monday. I love a fresh start. Uh, it kind of gives me a little bit more motivation and oomph when it all like lines up together. But you guys, motivation starts in your mind. And that is why I bring you Motivation Monday so often every week because motivation comes from unlimiting your thoughts. All throughout your life, you have um, picked up on thought patterns. You've been told something or another. You have seen something on TV, in a movie, whatever it is. You've picked up on, on these thought patterns that are probably limiting you. And so motivation comes when you start to unlimit those thoughts. When you start to change those thoughts and reverse the fear and tell yourself you can do it, you're going to create motivation and momentum at the same time. And so that's kind of what I'm going to talk about today because we are kind of like uh, conditioned to believe, to think, to let the fear take over and tell us that you can't do it. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you want to do in your life, whether you want to make jewelry, whether you want to make music, write poetry, be an author, whatever it is that you want to do in your life, you probably think that you can't do it. You think that people aren't going to be interested in whatever it is that you're doing. You think that you aren't good enough to do whatever it is that you are do you want to do. You think that you're not a good enough author, you're not a good enough mom, you're not a good enough whatever it is. You think that you're not good at it. You think that you won't be good enough at whatever it is that you want to do. And that in and of itself holds you back 
from things in life. Because what happens when you get ready to try something new, when you get ready to work on whatever it is for you, you have that little voice, that little limited thought pattern in your mind that tells you you can't do it, you're not good enough. And so you go with that and shut yourself down from whatever it is, right? I do that all the time. I let that little voice take over all the time and I am still in the process of practicing what I preach, y'all, and really being in control of my mind because I'm right there with you. The fear takes over and it talks me out of stuff. I talk myself out of doing stuff. And so over the weekend, my husband and I have been catching up on The Good Place. Let me know in the comments, drop a one in the comments if you watch or have seen or whatever The Good Place. Uh, we've been watching it on Netflix and it's about the afterlife and like, you know, crazy things that happen, whether you're in in the bad place or the good place, whatever it is. And so we are getting to the end of the whole series. Finally, it took us a while to catch up and, and rewatch. We started it back from the beginning to rewatch all the way through. And so we're at the end over the weekend. And the last few episodes just had me thinking about motivation because all of the characters are now in the good place. Sorry, spoiler alert. All of the characters are now in the good place and they can do whatever they want. And so they are learning new things, trying new things, going to all the places that they never got to go to. They are learning how to cook, learning how to like build furniture, like whatever it is, they're doing and trying everything because they're in the good place and, and now they can, right? And so they're excited about what they're doing. And what I want to tell you is that when you try those new things now, when you try new things all the time, every day, as often as you can, when you say yes to new opportunities that align with your energy, when you go ahead and try that craft that you've been wanting to try, when you go ahead and write whatever it is that you've wanted to write, when you go ahead and go for that promotion at work that is there and is perfect for you, when you do whatever it is and try new things often you will find your motivation and your purpose. Trying new things gives you motivation and your purpose. Because when you try new things that are aligned with your energy and your purpose, the motivation comes naturally, okay? And here's an example of that in my life. I recently, over the last few months, have been working on resin crafting. I don't have anything right here. I didn't think about that. I should have grabbed something. But I've been working on resin jewelry. I've been working on artwork, different things. And I've been trying new things along that process and now I'm also in the process of trying all the new ways to sell these things and make this a career and incorporate all of this together. And so I've been putting off, putting off, putting off, making a Facebook page about just the jewelry and the retail. I don't want to cloud up my mental health support group too much with all of the retail. And so I've been debating, considering, and putting off making a Facebook page to sell the jewelry and all of the things that I make. And I made one yesterday and just the excitement of getting that going and uploading pictures and hopefully making some sales on there and expanding a new um, network of people to connect with through that opportunity, just all of those things and that moment momentum of doing something new and putting the fear aside has me motivated to go and do it. Our internet is crappy. Y'all know that by now watching the daily drive. Our internet and our service is crappy. So I have a backpack loaded up on the couch ready to go and I'm going to walk to the gym and work out and then use the internet at the gym to get my Facebook page, my website, my YouTube, all of the things updated and stop putting it off because I'm trying new things and the motivation is coming along with 
that. So don't wait until it's too late to try those new things. The new opportunity that you say yes to could be the thing that you fall in love with and that gives you your life's purpose. When I stopped putting off getting deep with myself, when I stopped putting off doing personal development and I dove into specific personal development that I needed, I discovered my purpose in life. And now all of the things that I am doing right now in my life are aligned with that purpose in some way because they're giving me energy. They're giving me motivation. They're helping with my mental health crusade and cause. They are all things that are aligned with my purpose. And I am motivated to do them and I'm trying new things along the way. Because that keeps you motivated. Remember, your growth journey plus your life experiences equals your purpose. And your purpose equals motivation. And when you try new things often that are in the realm of your purpose, the motivation will come naturally. You will find what you love along the way. Uh, Um with the light bulb. Edison created the light bulb. He had a hundred things that he failed at before he found the one thing that worked. That's probably like the worst ever way to remember that quote. But you can try a billion things and and learn lessons and fail at things before you find the one thing that you love. But if you're constantly letting the fear hold you back from those new opportunities, then you're not going to find that one thing that you love because you're not going to try new things. So don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until you're in the good place to try and learn all of the things. Learn new things daily. Do things that are aligned with your purpose daily. Live in the perp- in the energy of your purpose daily. Do new things. Try new things often. When you try new things, you will find what you love. And remember, your growth journey which is trying new things and learning from it, your growth journey plus your life experiences, when you look back at your life experiences and combine those life experiences with what you're learning along your growth journey and you sort of put those pieces together, you will start to uncover your purpose. And knowing your purpose will keep you naturally motivated as well as finding new things to try pushing through the fear. Fear is a natural response of our brain and body trying to keep us safe. And so what I like to do is thank my brain. Thank you for wanting to keep me safe, but this is what I want to do right now. So I'm going to go do this. I'm going to walk to the gym, use their internet, and then walk back home and work out while I'm there and tan and do all of the things that fill my cup and make me happy. I'm trying new things daily. I'm learning new things daily. You can find specific things that you feel like you need help with. When I started on my personal growth journey, I listened to Mel Robbins, John Maxwell, um, Craig Groeschel, like nonstop, right? And now I am listening to different things. Mel Robbins is upgrading, updating her content, and I'm staying up to date with that. I am doing things that are specific to the parts of my life that I need to grow in. And that is what allows you to uncover what you love and figure out what your true purpose is. And then when you make it a point to do things and try new things that are related to that purpose every single day. Even if you go to a full-time job every day, you can fit something in throughout your day that's related to living in your purpose. Maybe you can find a full-time job that's somehow related to your purpose and do something that allows you to be a little bit happier in life, right? Maybe there's a new opportunity that allows you to live in your purpose and when you say yes to that, You are open to a whole new world of abundance. It's just how the universe works. When you unlimit those thoughts, when you become unlimited in your mind and reverse those limited thought patterns that you've picked up over the years, when you become unlimited 
and open to what the universe has for you, it will come back to you. The abundance will come back to you. The happiness will come back to you. The new opportunities will show you your purpose and give you that motivation. So remember, don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until you're in the good place to try um, to try all of the things and learn all of the things. Do it now. Learn something new every day. Try something new every day. Say yes to opportunities that are related to your purpose and the energy of your purpose. Put that fear aside. Silencio Bruno. If you know what I'm talking about, drop it in the comments. Silencio Bruno and keep it moving. Find your purpose because your growth journey plus your life experience combination gives you your purpose and your purpose gives you your motivation. When you make it a point, an intentional point to try new things often, you will naturally stay motivated. Because guess what? You might try something and fail at it, and now you're motivated to find the next thing. The next thing might work. The next thing might fail. But now you're motivated to find the next, next thing. You may try something and love it. And now you're motivated to find the next new thing within that area. I am loving doing resin work. And so now I'm finding different ways to expand that and try new things expand what you're in. Open your mind. Change those limited beliefs. The best way that I do that is with gratitude and intentional thinking. I have my intentional thought statements in the format of I am committed to. I am committed to trying new things. I am committed to my own health and personal growth. I am committed to living in my purpose of spreading mental health awareness every day. I am committed to these things every day with intent and that allows me to stay motivated throughout the day. The motivation is there when you are committed to be intentional with your purpose. Try new things often. Don't wait until it's too late to try new things. Try new things often. Your growth journey plus your life experiences, when you put those together, you will find your purpose. Your purpose will give you your motivation. I'm going to hop off of here and go walk to the gym because we only have one car right now. And I am motivated to get stuff done today because I'm doing new things that are within the realm of my purpose. So be on the lookout for the Becoming Unlimited shop on Facebook. You guys, you always go in the joy jar. You are mind openers today because the more you open your mind, the more motivation will come naturally. And just by watching this and learning something new, you're opening your mind. So y'all go in the joy jar. My social media friends, family, lurkers that hang out and don't say anything. I am grateful for y'all and love y'all so much. Do me a favor and check out dailydrivecoaching.com. I am relaunching and updating everything um, today and over the next week or so and just getting it all together for y'all. Scroll all the way to the bottom, put your email address in and hit subscribe. You will get content from me, Daily Drives, blog posts, whatever I put up on dailydrivecoaching.com. Just subscribe there and you'll find out. If you are not part of my Becoming Unlimited Facebook group, let me know or just search Becoming Unlimited on Facebook. It is just a free community of support where you get these daily drives, a little bit more content about unlimiting your thoughts and people to be in community with and know that you're not on this mental health journey alone. You're all unlimiting your thoughts together right there in Becoming Unlimited. If you are watching this on YouTube, do me a favor and hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Turn on notifications for all of my social media because I will never ask for a fee for what I do here. I just ask that you help me spread mental health, mental health awareness by subscribing, turning on notifications, tagging a friend, sharing my videos, commenting, engaging with me, all of those mental health things. It helps all of those social media things. It helps me spread mental health awareness more than you know. So check out dailydrivecoaching.com. And remember y'all, motivation starts in your mind. It starts with unlimiting your thoughts and trying new things often.